Well, uh, <clears throat> I was talking about analog inputs, and then then uh, these are coils, these are uh, read and write bits, these are preset. Preset means really give it a value. So preset register means you are writing a, a value to a register. And these are read exception status normally. I haven't seen devices implemented it. And this is something, these are all junk. And then, then uh, LRC generation, uh, how do you really calculate CRC? So this is uh, what is the polynomial, you know, slave has or master should know calculating these CRCs that will see in detail. And exception response, this is very important. What really happens is that Modbus is, is essentially a, a master slave or, or a server client kind of a architecture in which slaves are supposed to be, you know, they are not supposed to be talking uh, by themselves. Master has all the right of the bus. So master is the owner of the bus and master sends out a device uh, and, 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 and Modbus uh, packet, which is uh, decoded, which is read by all the devices and say slaves would have their own uh, IDs. So imagine master says, hey, slave number one, give me the reading of say input register number this. All the devices would read it and on other devices which are not numbered one would drop that packet and will not do anything about it and, and the device which has been hardware addressed to be number one would really read that particular uh, address master is asking for and that'll, that device would really reply saying that oh okay this is this is the value of, of that particular register and during this this communication crc will go in the packet and and one more thing that will go along with the packet is 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 responses is that 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 you could really be by mistake you know asking wrong questions to the slave yeah you could really be asking uh, probably you you might end up asking a memory location which doesn't really exist in a slave which is an exception case in that case uh, well the slave will will reply you differently and these are all laid out inside the protocol so that the master would come to know oh, oh I made a mistake I, I asked for a wrong memory address or uh, if if at all if if in case uh, master is asking the right question if the memory address really exists, then in that case, slave would reply with the with the value, and at the same time, will will give you a number, will will give you an, will really give you an <coughs> response uh, byte. Looking at which, you can really know whether it was whether whether it was, you know, whether everything went right or not. So, besides data, you have you have slave number, you have a CRC which is CRC 16. We'll take a look at the polynomial, you know, anytime soon. And and you have you have got exception code. Exception codes are like, imagine you, you try to do, uh, say, ah, if you if you try to ask, uh, just 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 say, uh, if you by mistake somehow, if you, if, if that say slave is busy, it's going to, it's gonna say, it's gonna give you a response that yeah, I'm busy doing something. Uh, then, then if at all you end up asking some wrong questions in terms of, uh, in terms of say, say what? Uh, it could be, it could be, it could be, it could be anything. Like most of the cases, uh, people end up asking values for wrong memory locations, or maybe you'll try to force a input bit which actually you are not supposed to. In that case, uh, slave will come up come up with an exception code. If you are uh, if you are if you are trying to do a function which doesn't really exist, yeah. So in that case, uh, slave would come up with an exception number that hey, I mean, I can't really give you the data because you are asking wrong question. So this is something you know, which is which has to be a part of any protocol. These three things: slave addressing, CRC, and exception code.
So this is what you've got in Modbus uh, device also. And then what writing? Uh, so I mean, this is this is how Modbus does it. And finally, it comes to it boils down to writing, you know, software, say say for uh, reading input status, and and writing and reading coil status. So typically, it comes down to to you or me or or whatever is whoever is writing that driver has to fire this query uh, using its software on, on a serial port of the laptop you have and then interpret the result that you are getting from the device because these all numbers would be an hex packet you know it, it could well be a you know 10 by hex packet that's gonna send over to the device over serial port and then then this is what the response that you might get from the device if your serial port times out that means really you've got a communication problem you've got a broken wire or maybe your serial port is not working or not rightly, rightly configured or probably baud rate is not correct or maybe something wrong in 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 what in the communication but if you've got a communication going then then you will get a response and uh, yeah then you've got to interpret in terms of uh, in terms of the value that you were trying to read or maybe maybe if you were trying to write a write an say say digital output bit you were trying to turn it on and off so that's what it it really means and uh, blah, 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 this is what is that well uh, it looks like this is daisy chain how rs485 devices are yeah uh, this this says that it's a query response cycle means master has all the owners a master would ask you a question and then slave has to reply slaves are by itself they're not supposed to you know they're not supposed to be you know sending bytes unless they're really asked for so they are supposed to be shut down shut down means silent yeah. rt mode rt mode is something we'll be using the character set is there ascii framing no not interested RTU framing is something I'm interested in. Yeah, so let's let's took take a look at at, at how RTU framing is really done. So this is seems to be a start byte. Then you have to have the address of the slave. Then you have to have the function code. Then you really have to send the data. Then you have to have the <coughs> CRC check. So this is this really from here to here. Is the packet you really want to be making inside your software yeah, and then you'll be sending that packet over to the slave and slave has to answer well see it looks like they're talking something about see RTU not very much interested <coughs> uh, parity checking nobody does it not needed because uh, CRC 16 checking gives you about 99% of accuracy yeah. so if your CRC passes there's no other error, you know, checking you need to do. LRC checking, obsolete error checking method, continue CRC checking. Yeah, we'll take we'll take a look how what is the what is the polynomial and how CRC is calculated. CRC 16 to be precise, which Modbus protocol uses? Ooh, 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 how numerical values are expressed? Yeah, all the just just know for a fact that. Modbus RTU just understands hex numbers, nothing else. So you, you, the characters that are available to you are, are 0 to 9 and A to F. Yeah. You don't have full set of ASCII characters here. Yeah. This, is, this is the most important thing. This is how Modbus you know, queries are written inside the software. And writing this, 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 this diagram in, in, in electronic terms in, inside a software is called driver writing. So this this is the <coughs> query master send that master sends over to the slave and then slave 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 has to give this kind of a response. So we'll write this query inside our software very soon and we will interpret these numbers how how you know really <clears throat> how really the slave has, has responded and we'll, we'll make it we'll really try to relate it uh, as as the 